to Kentucky Science Center. I'm Joe Haas, Executive Director of the Science Center, and we are um, very excited to have uh, so many of you with us today to uh, reveal a, um, a new permanent exhibition uh, here as part of our World We Create uh, exhibit floor. Um, and, uh, and I think you're going to you're going to feel a connection uh, to this project. Today we have um, Science Center board members. We just had a, uh, a full board meeting upstairs, so a lot of our uh, uh, governance um, leadership team uh, is with us today, and, and that's exciting. So thank you to board members who have stayed around to be part of this press event. We have um, supporters and, uh, and companies uh, who have been um, hard at work some of them will tell you hard at work for 50 plus years, but hard at work at least um, under our noses for the last handful of years on the Ohio River Bridges project here downtown and on the East End. Um, I have a, uh, I've always been a, a, a STEM uh, kind of person, oriented person. Uh, I've always appreciated engineers, I'll just tell you that. But after um, living through this project, and gaining a deeper understanding of the Ohio River Bridges project. Um, I'm even more appreciative of the role that engineers and engineering play in our everyday lives. So uh, in part, this exhibition is, uh, is designed to, um, uh, to underscore those things. Um, we have uh, the mayor with us, and he's gonna take the podium here in just a second and talk about bridges and, uh, uh, and, and the importance of STEM careers in his uh, vision of this city and this state. And, uh, and we also have um, uh, Carolyn Tandy here representing John Yarmuth's office. So thank you uh, to the Congressman for his support of this project and, and of the Science Center and all that we do. And the Science Center staff is with us today as well. So um, you might not know that Kentucky Science Center was just named uh, the top five children's museum in the US. So if you didn't know that, that's an awesome thing. It's a great accolade for us right here in Louisville. We were also just notified that uh, Kentucky Living uh, named Kentucky Science Center uh, the number three museum in the state. Um, and we're the only Louisville Museum on that list, so we're, we were proud of that accolade as well recently. Um, those accolades are, uh, in fact, because we are an evolving, uh, responsive organization. So we are providing experiences that are, are relevant to people and inspiring. And I think um, there's, there's probably no bigger project in our community that is both relevant and inspiring than, uh, than, than the Ohio River Bridges project. And so we're pleased uh, to put together an, an exhibition to bring those stories forward to our community. Um, the Bridges project was inspired by that real world science that's happening um, in our backyard. And, uh, and we think it's important because it creates a great sense of place for people who reside here in our community. Um, you often hear uh, the, the, the sort of stories about traffic, snarls, and whatnot, and I'd rather um, flip all those stories on end and, and talk about um, the amazing men and women who have been uh, toiling uh, to, to sort of bring this STEM project to life, um, the, uh, the incredible science, technology, engineering, and math that goes in uh, to, uh, to this project, the real sense of place that this um, set of bridges creates uh, for us here in, in uh, Kentucky and Indiana, um, and really the, the illustration and inspiration behind, uh, behind this project as a STEM learning initiative. So with that, let me bring uh, uh, Mayor Fisher to the podium. Uh, thanks for being with us today. Thank you, Joe. Now, I want to thank uh, Joe Haas for being such a great leader for us here at the Science Center. We've got tremendous staff and volunteers that really make this place sing. I served about 14 years on the board uh, throughout my career here. Well, we built the world we create, the world around us, the world within us, so it was quite the adventure, and I've spent a lot of time here and really appreciate what the Science Center has done. And welcome to our students here today. You guys are looking good and very engaged, so thank you for helping us celebrate this opening right here. We've come a long way in a really relatively short period of time. In 2011, People were still talking about the Ohio River Bridges Project like it was a fantasy and it would never happen. And we all know it took about four decades for the thing to actually get started. But boy, once it got started, uh, the team of professionals that were unleashed on this project 
from an engineering perspective, finance perspective, project management, et cetera. Communications has just been phenomenal to see this project come together. And it was just a few four, uh, sh short months ago when I had the privilege of helping uh, open the Abraham Lincoln Bridge with Governor Bashir. It was one of the last things that he did before he left office. And people kept saying that this was a once in a lifetime opportunity to do that. Well, and that's somewhat true, but here in a couple more months, toward the end of this year, you'll have another once in a lifetime opportunity when we open up the East End Crossing about, uh, what, seven miles or so up river from here. So it's just been a fantastic time if you enjoy engineering, construction, the infrastructure, to see all this come along. And it's been particularly cool downtown for the number of people that have been watching or watched the construction of the downtown bridge from the Big Four Bridge and just see how that come up and people would actually come to town and take tours of what was going on. And it was really great to see people's interest in STEM and engineering and construction. So what a great way to memorialize all this, to have it right here in the Science Center with our exhibit here that's going to be a permanent exhibit, exhibit that's going to be celebrating everything that went into making the Ohio River Bridges project a reality. It is a, not just a tremendous piece of infrastructure, but it's a tremendous learning opportunity for us as well. And it would have been a real shame as a community if we passed it up and just looked at it as a bridge as opposed to a tool for, tool for lifelong learning, one of our city values. And by adding this exhibit to the world we create, I think we're sending a really critical message to our citizens and our young citizens here about all of the knowledge that goes into making something like this happen. And our city, our city message is, is that we're not just a city of world-class art and culture and food as well, but we want to have science and math and engineering on display. Uh, we have it right here, but then we literally have it right outside of our window as well. And let's understand what that is and let's inspire the next generation of engineers and scientists uh, by this project as they understand how it all came together. So it wants to, it helps us reinforce an area that's so critical to our city's future. Joe mentioned it, STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. I'd add the A in there and call it STEAM and add art as well because the architectural treatment of these bridges as well is fantastic. The new cable stay bridges add a real striking element to our skyline. Uh, there's a great uh, engineering behind it. One of my favorite aspects of the new exhibit right here is a demonstration of the cable stay bridge technology here. Joe Haas is demonstrating that right now. And so people look at these type of things and take it for granted. But when you get the science behind it, I guarantee you some kid's going to say, that's cool, I want to be an engineer. And then from there, we have more engineers, which we need more engineers. So not only are we teaching about STEM, but we want to really talk about the careers behind those. We know that cities that are going to win in the 21st century are going to be cities that focus on what we call advanced industries. And advanced industries have two things in common, innovation and globalization. And at the heart of innovation, obviously, is good engineering, good architecture, good construction. And this project is going to be very helpful in illustrating that together. I want to take a moment to thank everybody who played a part in putting our amazing Bridges project together. Many of you are with us here today. You can see the names of all of our partners on the panels on, around this kiosk right here. So I just wanted to say thank you because it's been a real team effort to do this. And it's my pleasure here to offer special thanks to two of our bridge builders here with us today. And they're the project managers for this phenomenal uh, project we have here. And you can imagine starting this some three years ago when we didn't have anything and visualize that we're going to have these fantastic bridges in place, two and a half billion dollars, one of the biggest uh, projects taking place in, their, in the entire country. And our project managers have been there obviously before, well before the project started uh, its uh, construction and will be here well after as well. So they're the project managers for the Ohio River Bridges Project, Andy Barber with the Kentucky Transportation Cabinet, and Ron Hustis with the Indiana Department of Transportation. These two gentlemen have been at the helm of the project and helping to orchestrate this massive uh, two-state uh, project that's making a huge, huge impact, not just today, but on our city for generations to come. So gentlemen, uh, Ron and Andy, on behalf of all of our citizens here, we want to 
thank you guys for being role models for our next generation of STEM leaders and STEM career professionals as well. So Andy Barber from Kentucky is going to share a few remarks with us. Please welcome Andy Barber. Thank you, Mayor Fisher. Um, we also have uh, Robert Morphonius with us, too. He's the uh, project manager for WDB East End Partners, and they're the developer heading up the, the East End Crossing and its, the, and its future maintenance contract. And all three of us are very excited to be here today. Uh, being a part of the Bridges Project is a privilege. And seeing the project brought to, uh, brought to life to inspire young minds is uh, something very special. And you know, we're in the home stretch. Uh, Mayor mentioned it at the end of this year, we're gonna have uh, six new lanes over the Abraham Lincoln Bridge. We'll have six lanes coming southbound on I-65 across an improved Kennedy Bridge. And the East End Bridge will be open to, uh, to traffic. And that means all the construction barrels, all the equipment will be going away. And that's good news for drivers and us too. Uh, but what we don't wanna go away are the lessons that we learned uh, with a project like this. We're going to be reaching a new audience of young minds and their parents uh, for years to come. And it won't take too many months of shorter and safer commutes uh, for some of us to forget how we got to where we are. It took decades of debate, a lot of hard work from a diverse group of bridge builders, uh, not only just the men and women who put the concrete and steel down, but uh, also a bunch of people that are in this room today and a whole slew of others. And these are the stories we can continue to tell with the help of this exhibit. I paid my first visit to the Science Center when I was about nine years old. Uh, when I left here that day, I don't think I knew I wanted to be a civil engineer, but seeds were planted. And that's what we want to do with this exhibit, whether it's, uh, whether it's you guys figuring out what uh, uh, careers it takes to build a project like this, or how to design a tunnel, or uh, messing with that uh, cable stay bridge model. We want to plant seeds. And maybe the boys and girls watching the time lapse of videos and learning more about the careers will become the bridge builders of the future. On a personal note, I'm here today with my wife and, uh, and two young daughters. And uh, while Lucy there, the youngest, it may be a couple of years before she can handle the, uh, get up here and get her hands on the exhibit, I'm awfully glad she's going to have that opportunity. Ryan's got some grandkids he'll be bringing up here soon as well, too. And uh, when Jennifer and I bring the girls up here to the Science Center, uh, we know we're planting seeds, and it's going to be really neat to see uh, what those seeds sprout into. So uh, thank you so much to the Kentucky Science Center. Uh, thank you, Mayor Fisher, and uh, thanks for all of you here today. You know, an idea like this um, to, to plant seeds and, and to grow our future uh, scientists and engineers um, starts with a big idea and and we have um, uh, some of those big thinkers in our community who uh, who knocked on our door one day and said you know there's this amazing stem project happening right in our backyard and do you think anybody be interested in telling the educational stories uh, behind that experience um, and just about two years ago we then knocked on Andy's door um, and Chad and others uh, and and I remember sitting around a table with about uh, 18 to 20 folks uh, from both sides of the river who were working on this project uh, and and there was uh, nothing but enthusiasm about uh, spreading uh, the message of, of STEM careers and, and inspiration about science, technology, engineering, arts, and math uh, in our community uh, using this project as, as the basis. So I'm, I'm so pleased to be here. Um, I'd like, it's, it's a little difficult to know who everybody is, but if you are um, representing a company and there were 13 plus companies and all the trades from both sides of the river who supported this project with cash contributions to make it happen. If you're representing one of those companies, just give a, a raise because I think everybody should um, applaud you. And I know really you're, you're the tip of the iceberg. 
um, and you represent companies um, who represent men and women who were really hands-on in this project. Um, and so, uh, uh, so please take our thanks back to your teams uh, because they really are uh, memorialized here. Um, and, and this exhibition will carry their story forward in a way um, uh, that, that we know will be inspirational. So thank you uh, to all of you for doing that. And Kim Hunter from my team is here somewhere. She's in the way back. Kim was the project manager um, from the Kentucky Science Center team. And she um, put together a list that's also up on this panel of, uh, of more than 25, maybe 50 people uh, who have had their fingers on key messages uh, and the experiences that we've designed, including the 12 foot model of the Cable State East End Bridge, um, a really great series of, of 18 interviews with men and women from a variety of, of fields uh, who, who were involved in this project to tell their stories about what it took for them uh, in terms of their education and their career paths uh, to be where they are today. So we're excited about that. Um, some basic science about bridge building, uh, a great interactive um, designed by a, a firm that does um, video games, uh, talking about tunnel, tunnel design and tunnel building. And um, with the help of our students, we're going to invite um, all of you in uh, to, uh, to get your hands on the experience and, um, uh, and see it firsthand. But again, let's give everybody involved in making this project happen and being here today a round of applause. And with that, I'm going to ask my, uh, my friends from Evangel Christian School to um, stand up and uh, come on in and, and test your hand at the spin browser, the exhibits, uh, the career videos, and uh, welcome to the Ohio River Bridges Exhibition Project. Thank you. This has been a Metro TV production, a public service of Louisville Metro Government.